Let's find some missing terms of arithmetic and geometric sequences. And when you work on this paper that goes along with this video, you will earn some bonus points along with uh, the points for the quiz. So this is a quiz, but really there's a lot of bonus worked into it. So just do the problems and turn that stinker in. Okay, so here's how you do it in case you've forgotten. On the front page, you're going to be finding the missing terms in an arithmetic sequence. And luckily, we have a formula that will help us, that's this guy right here, that will help us locate that common difference so we can find the missing terms. Here's the key to these problems. You're giving a partial list of the terms of the sequence. So we have no idea where the sequence starts or if there is even a start. What we're going to do is assume that the first number that's visible is A1, and then the missing one would be A2, and the next one that they give us here would be A3. As soon as I know that A3 equals 44 and A1 equals 32, I can use this formula. I can find that common difference. So the common difference is going to be 44 minus 32 divided by the positions which are 3 and 1. So this is going to be what 12 over 2 which is 6. So my common difference is 6. What does that mean? It means that each of these terms is separated by 6. So to get from 32 to the blank term I have to add 6 and then from that one to 44 is another 6. 32 plus 6 is 38. And that is the missing term, which we just located right here, letter D. The key is to assign that first number that you know to A1, and then start numbering in this direction. I've sort of used up this screen here, so I'm not going to do number 2 but I do have another example on the next slide. So let's take a look at that one. Test, there we go. Sorry, my microphone wasn't working. Uh, here's another example. Remember, all of the problems on the front page are arithmetic sequences. On the back, they're geometric. So this thing's arithmetic. Remember our strategy. We are not going to worry about what's happening before. I'm gonna assign A1 to be the first visible term, which is negative eight. That means this one is A2, this one is A3, this one is A4, but more importantly, A5 is 392. So I know A5 is 392, and I know A1 is negative 8. What I need to find is that common difference so that I can figure out what the middle terms are. So I'm going to throw those two numbers into my formula. D equals 392 minus a negative 8. Be very careful with that addition there. It's really 392 plus 8. And then on the bottom, what are we going to do? We're going to do position 5 minus position 1. So this is 400 divided by 4. Last time I checked, that was 100. What that means is our common difference is 100. These terms are going up by 100 every time. So negative uh, 8 plus 100, that is 92. And 92 plus 100 is 192, and uh, 192 plus 100 is 292. And then, of course, if we added 100 again, we get to 392. So that is going to be letter B right here. In each case, our job is simply to locate this common difference by using this formula. Right? We subtract the values on top, and we subtract the positions on bottom. And that tells us our common difference. Once you know the common difference, you just start at A1 and keep adding it on. That's the beauty of the common difference. Okay, so those two examples were for arithmetic sequences. We have the same idea but a different formula for geometric sequences, which is what you're going to be doing on the back side of your paper. So let's check that out. Okay, so now we've moved to the back side of your paper, and these are my examples. Notice we are looking for geometric sequence terms, missing terms of a geometric sequence. I'm going to attack these problems the same way. We'll start here with number 9. I'm not worrying about what happened before. 
I'm assigning a1 to this first visible term, which is 4. That means I'm looking for, oopsie, I'm looking for uh, a2, right? And I know a3. So just to be clear, a3, that's 64, and a1 is 4. What we need to find is that common ratio. Well, we're going to use our favorite calculator formula to do that. Because these terms are not consecutive, I have to worry about uh, the number of times it was multiplied, the common ratio. So that's why we have this little extra power here. So what we've been doing is we've been typing in uh, this formula right into the calculator. So I'm going to do 64 divided by 4 with the parentheses. Then I'll raise that to the exponent with the caret symbol. 1, oops, that's a regular 1. I'm going to try and write my handwriting a little better here. 1 divided by, so use a slash there. And then we need n minus k. Now, I'm just going to write 2, but keep in mind that the way I figured out what the 2 was is I did 3 minus 1, right? The difference of the positions. That's what this part of the formula is talking about right here. Looks like I'm actually missing a parenthesis right there, just like we did in the notes. But um, this is how we're going to figure out the value of r. So when you type this into your calculator, basically what it's going to do is uh, the square root of 16, which is 4. So you're, you should get r equals 4 for the value of r. That is our common ratio. It means we're going to multiply by 4 every time. So if a1 is 4, to get the next term, I'm going to take that a1 and multiply it by 4, which is 16. That's the second term. And just in case you're wondering, the next term is just 16 times 4, which is the 64 that we have up in our list. So our second term in this geometric sequence is this 16 because we multiplied by this common ratio of 4. So we're talking about letter D on this problem. And again, I've filled up my screen here, so I'm not going to do number 10 right now. But I will give you one last example on the back here, just to make sure you get the hang of these geometric sequences. So here's our last example. And... There's a lot of large numbers here, and there's a lot of missing terms, but we're going to find them. We have to find four terms. Remember, our strategy is to pretend like this sequence starts right at 2. So A1 is 2. We're missing A2, A3, A4, and A5, but we know that A6 is 15,552. I'm just writing it down so you can see what I've discovered here. A6 is 15,552, and A1 is 2. Now we're going to use our formula to get D, or excuse me, to get R, right? This is a geometric sequence. We need a common ratio. So I'll, I'll go over here, and I'll do R equals. I have to do the 15,552 divided by 2, and then my fraction is going to be 1 divided by, and then I'm going to do this math in my head here, 6 minus 1 is 5. So essentially what we're going to do is the fifth root of that value. And i got to get my calculator out to crank this answer out, so I'll do that and let's see what we get. And when I type that in, I get a 6. So our common ratio is 6. That means to finish off this sequence, I just have to keep multiplying my terms by 6. To get a2, I do 2 times 6, which is 12. To get a3, I do 12 times 6, which is uh, 72. To do a, what is this, a2, a3, a4, 72 times 6, which is... I think that's 432, but let me check it. Oh yeah, 432. And by now we know that our choice is letter C, but let's make sure 432 times 6, and that's going to be 2592, which is exactly what the choice says there. 
So by finding this common ratio, we can build the middle terms in, starting at 2 and multiplying by 6 every time. And we get letter C for that one. So that's the goal for this assignment. It's to find the missing terms. On the front page, we're doing arithmetic sequences. And we'll use the D equals formula from our notes, right? You've got these formulas in your notes. And then on the back side, we'll find missing terms in geometric sequences. And again, we'll use our R equals formula. And we'll find that common ratio and then multiply as many times as we need to fill in those missing terms. In this case, we had to do four of them because there were four missing terms. So fill this paper out. It's due at the end of the hour, uh, but you'll earn bonus points uh, on this quiz. So everybody complete it and turn it in, and then once we get the scores, we'll, we'll make sure you get bonus points on this thing. Okay, good luck, and if you need me, you know where to find me. Take care.